So this is a recording of um, altitudes that, whose points of concurrency is an orthocenter. So what I've done here, I'm going to get rid of this altitude for a minute. Remember that an altitude is a segment or line that goes between a vertex and the opposite side making a right angle. So I'm going to construct a perpendicular line and that's an altitude. I'm going to show you that this is perpendicular by measuring this angle. So this angle measure is 90 degrees and so you can tell when I grab and move it around. If I slide it back and forth that's, that line is going to stay perpendicular to segment AC. So I've made um, one altitude there. Now notice that for an acute triangle the altitude lies inside the triangle. If I make the triangle a right triangle, now the altitude from B perpendicular to AC is actually one side of the triangle. And uh, if I make it an obtuse triangle, the altitude actually lies outside. So I'd have to extend this segment, a this line, uh, segment AC here, extend it out, and B for the line from B perpendicular to that extension would actually cause the altitude to lie outside of the triangle. So you notice that when you have an altitude for an obtuse triangle, the altitude will actually be outside of the triangle. Now I'm going to construct the altitudes to all the sides. So uh, from C perpendicular to AB, I'll construct a perpendicular. And then from A perpendicular to BC, I'm going to construct a perpendicular there too. Okay, so remember that the point of concurrency where all of the altitudes intersect is called the orthocenter. So I'm going to name that point there. That is the orthocenter. Now I want you to notice as I drag around this triangle, so this is an acute triangle, as I'm moving it around the orthocenter is staying inside of the triangle. Okay, I can drag all the vertices around and, and keep it as an obtuse, I'm sorry, an acute triangle. The orthocenter is staying inside, so all of these are different acute triangles. Now. Notice as I make it closer and closer to being a right triangle, the orthocenter is actually going to be at the vertex of the right angle because from A perpendicular to BC is this altitude. From C perpendicular to AB is this altitude. And then your third altitude here comes from the right angle perpendicular to the hypotenuse. So on a right triangle, the orthocenter is actually at the vertex of the right angle. So I'm going to move this around a little bit more here. So let's say that I create a right angle at A. Now see the orthocenter is at the vertex of that right angle at A. Now as you make the triangle obtuse, see what happens? The orthocenter moves outside of the, the triangle. So for an obtuse triangle, the orthocenter will lie outside the triangle. And the more obtuse that the triangle is, the further away the orthocenter will be. So it kind of gets closer to the triangle as it gets as the triangle gets closer to a right triangle. And notice that um, the orthocenter lies outside of the triangle for an obtuse triangle and it lies kind of behind the obtuse angle. So if that's if A is the obtuse angle, the orthocenter is sort of behind outside the triangle behind uh, this obtuse angle at A. If I make B an obtuse angle, I'm going to stretch this out a little bit so it's not such a small triangle. So if B is a right triangle, the orthocenter be at the, the vertex of the right angle. If it becomes an obtuse triangle, the orthocenter stretches outside of the triangle. So it's kind of behind wherever the obtuse angle is. So again, the idea is for orthocenter, acute triangle, the orthocenter stays inside the triangle. For a right triangle, the orthocenter will be at the, at the vertex of the right angle. And for an obtuse triangle, the orthocenter lies outside the triangle and behind the um, obtuse angle.